Keys with it for me, please, so I can round up. Apostle Paul told Timothy, you treat the older men as fathers. You treat the older women as mothers. You treat the younger as brothers and sisters. But the same one that said that is the one that said that parents should not provoke their children to wrath. Are you provoking the young people to wrath? Are they angered by you? Not because you want to... I don't think young people hate correction like that. But your methodology matters. When a family comes to church, do you focus on the parents alone? Or do you see the young people as souls that need to also feel like you're their pastor? And we didn't even touch how we treat one another. Because we don't just lead by what we do to one another directly, but also how we operate amongst ourselves. Is love the culture? Do they hear you backbite about others? Do you celebrate things in the kingdom? Or do you wrongfully talk about other people? Our young people are not moved by just what you say, but your life is a message. Your life is a message. Relevance is important, but not how the world will say relevance. Relevance is not about compromise. Relevance is about embodying the message and living it out so that when they see you, they can see an example of a believer in word, in conduct, in purity, in faith and in love. Would you pray for yourself? If you're here, you know, and you can admit that you've gotten it wrong in areas. As I was speaking, I know God was speaking to some of you. Particularly, I hear the Lord say this, that there's someone here that God gave you a particular strategy for your church. But because it did not fit with the mold, you've held it back. It seemed like completely unconventional. Maybe you were, fear, you were afraid that it wouldn't work. If that is you, God is calling you to repent and go back to the blueprint that he gave you. Some of you here, you need to do a course. You need to study. You need to study. You need to study. Study how to actually break down scripture. Not just in the traditional way. The one thing I love about Reverend Celia, she can talk about government and she will bring it to scripture. She can talk about nations and she sees it in scripture. What is your message and have you seen it in scripture to be able to communicate? One of the things I'm saying to you is this. After all is said and done, you need to ask God for favor. Jesus did not just grow in spirit. He also grew in favor with God and man. Have you prayed for yourself? God, give me favor in this land with people, with men, with women. If you're here, you know you need to repent because you haven't been faithful with the charge that's been entrusted to you. Would you please, if you could, bow your head. And just pray. I promise you what God has called you to do is not impossible. It just needs you. It needs you and I to commit. To commit to doing it God's way. To our ears being open. That our tradition will not make the word of God to be of no effect. For the gospel of Jesus Christ is still the power of God unto salvation. It's still healing. It's still saving. It's still delivering. Ask God for mercy. Ask God for mercy. Where you've had an ownership mentality of God's people and not a stewardship mentality, ask God for mercy. Ask God for mercy. Where you've thrown away your workforce because you misunderstood their zeal, ask God for mercy. Father, 
as you have given me word to speak. Lord Jesus, I ask that you help us. Father, we repent. Where the younger generation have acted out of pride, I repent on their behalf. Where the older generation have acted out of pride, I repent, my God. Lord Jesus, I ask that you bring healing to your body. Bring sanctity to the body again. Let brotherly love continue. Lord Jesus, I ask my God that you refresh us again. My God, Caleb said, as I was at 40, so I am at 80. Will you renew the strength of your daughters and revive them? That they can say to give me the mountain, for I will take it. Father, give these ones the mountain again. Father, Lord Jesus, I ask that you restore grace upon grace upon grace. Give them wisdom. Give them insight. Give them favor. Give them favor in this land with their sons, with the daughters, with the fathers, with the mothers. Give them favor and help them know how to use favor for your glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. amen. God bless.